Hello and welcome to another floppy deep dive. This is Tom from Texas and today we're going to talk about cleaning our 1541 and our 1571. Um, if you just recently got it back out of the closet or the attic or the basement or wherever you were storing it, or you just recently purchased one of these, something that happens a lot when you start transferring all your floppies over is the reed head gets dirty on these. And I had some people ask me if I would post a video of what I do when I'm creating all my D64 and G64 files, and then all of a sudden you get the file not found error and cannot read the file on the floppy. And you think, oh no, the, you know, it's out of alignment. But really it's something very simple, something easy that you can do. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that using uh, just a q-tip and some alcohol so let's get started so you go to read the directory of your floppy to see if it's okay and if you can copy it and you start getting that red light flash and then that air light flash and most likely that's an instance that the read head is dirty and it's just needs to be cleaned with that q-tip so let me show you how to clean it with the q-tip and then we'll try it again after we clean it. So the only tools you're going to need today to be able to fix your 1541 so it can read your floppy again is you need some alcohol, a q-tip, and a screwdriver so you're able to open up your 1541 so you can get in there and fix the head on there and make it nice and clean to read your floppy. So opening up the 1541, this big old Bertha here, I, you just, just, it's so easy. You got four screws in the corners that you have to remove to be able to take the lid off to be able to access where you need to get to. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these four screws, just a Phillips screwdriver, nothing special, and take the lid off top of it. So once we get the four screws out of the bottom of it, the lid lifts just straight off. So that's easy enough to do. And then once you get in there, you're gonna find this metal plate. Now on this metal plate, there's actually two more screws that you're gonna to have to remove here and here to be able to get to where you need to do to be able to clean the head. So after that, we're going to remove this. I already took the two screws out. It just comes straight off. And now when we get in here, the reed head is a white little square that's located inside here. These sometimes look different in 1541s. Some of them had the long board, some of them had the short board, but you can access this either way. So when you look at this white square right here, this is what we're gonna be cleaning. This is the reed head right here. Sometimes you'll get a little black smudges on it. Sometimes you won't see anything at all. But at times, if there's something on there, it won't allow you to read your 1541 floppies and you'll get a file read error. So you wanna go in here and you can lift this up right here. Take your Q-tip that has alcohol on it, go straight in here and you wanna clean this head really good back and forth with the alcohol and the Q-tip, and that will remove whatever's on it that's keeping it from reading the 1541. And then, that's it. You've read it, you got it done, you need to let the alcohol dry, and then you can try your floppy again. So now that we've cleaned it, I wanna go ahead and see if we have better luck reading that floppy. So we're gonna go in here and do a directory of it. And the floppy reads just perfect. So there's just something on that read head that was making it where it can't read it. And so by going in there with that alcohol and the Q-tip and giving it the little wipe, it came right off and now it can read it perfect. So back to creating D64 and G64 files. So then on the 1571, it works the same way, four screws on the bottom that you're gonna remove. Once you remove those four screws, you're gonna take the top lid off 
And I recommend always keeping the lids unscrewed and just putting them back on for a dust cover because if you're going to be doing a lot of the floppy 1541 transfers or 1571 transfers using your floppies, your reed head gets dirty quite often because these are 30 year old floppy discs that you're reading. So they get so much dirty. In the 80s, I never had to take my floppy apart or my disc drive apart to be able to clean it. But now here in 2020, they're much dirtier. It gets dirtier quicker. So 1571, same exact thing. You're gonna take your Q-tip with the alcohol on there again. This one's a little bit tighter to get in here, so you gotta be careful. Gently just raise that up. And again, there's just that little white square that's in there, and that's the reader. The 1571 actually has two readers, one at the bottom and one at the top. It's the one at the top, it's hard to tell if that was clean, but you can give it a little rub with a Q-tip too. But the bottom one is the same thing. If it has any of those black smears or any of those black things on there, you want a nice clean uh, read head on there so it can read your floppy. And that's all there is too for the 1571. Once you got that clean, you let that alcohol dry for a few minutes and then you're ready to try your floppy again. So sometimes the 1541 needs to get reset and properly back on track one. So when you're cleaning it, your head might move or it might just got stuck in a wrong position. So you need to get it back so it can find where it's looking at. And so I'm gonna give you a little command that's always good to do to get your 1540 back to the properly track one. And it's open 15 comma eight comma 15 comma, quote, and it's a capital I, end quote, and then it's a colon, and close, oops, close 15, return, and that will send the command to your floppy, well, I'm sorry, to your disk drive, and get it back in position, so here you go, now I can read it perfectly again and read the directory. It just... This just makes sure the 1541 is reset properly to track one. Every so often it gets lost. The 1541 hardware has no clue what track it's on. It just assumes it's in the right place. And sometimes a loader can leave it in an incorrect position and will not find anything at all because it keeps looking at all the wrong places. So again, I'm going to type this here again for you so you can write it down. Open 15, 8, 15, open quote I, end quote, colon, close 15. After you do a clean, if it continues to give you an issue, this is a great command to get it back on track and get the 1541 looking at the right place. So I hope you found this video useful, dealing with the old 1541 Big Bertha here. Really nothing to be afraid of. Don't let your heart drop or anything if you can't read that floppy right away. It's really pretty quick and easy to go in there, clean that head, or get that this 1541 back on track. And if you like this video, please subscribe and watch for more videos to come soon. And thank you for watching another floppy deep dive.